Hello everyone, and welcome. I know what some of you are probably thinking. God of War? You mean that game with the Kratos, you know, killing all sorts of gods and stuff? They made a book based around that? Yeah, and um, and this honestly really isn't all that a unique or surprising thing when if you've been into books as long as I have. I mean, like, there are, def there are like uh, multiple Halo novels as... Uh, you know, you've seen in um, that video I made a while back where I was showing off my book collection. There's um, there's also several uh, novelized installments of the um, of the uh, mass in the Mass Effect series. The um, <clears throat> is the, the Starcraft, you know, Warcraft. You know, um, although Warcraft is an MMO, so you know more stuff or stories, but yeah, and. Um, you know, there are even several uh, novelized installments to stuff like uh, Gears of War and, uh, if I recall, a four-part series that is actually an adaptation of the Doom games. No, seriously, uh, you know that yeah, that old that old uh, PC game. You know, da 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 you know, no pictures, no graphics, no polygons, you know, book, books, <clears throat> and, uh, yeah, and, uh, and like, you know, a lot of times they're actually pretty good, you know, and in my opinion, this is actually one of those really good books, you know, like, I've never personally played the God of War series, you know, I, I mostly just have only just, my experience mostly is just like Let's Plays, well, entirely with Let's Plays online, because I never really saw much point, or, or I just, uh, not really much point, just didn't really get around to it, but, um, yeah, so the only parts that I can really talk about are the story, and for the most part, or not most part, but some of the part that story's not that really interesting you know like us uh, the exception of the first one and ascension really you know i just didn't really you know care much about kratos as a character he's just yeah and at least from two and three it's kind of hard to see him as anything other than a giant villain but um this actually uh, does a very good job at adding all sorts of stuff you know, the game pretty much takes place entirely from Kratos' point of view, but in here there are several moments where it's uh, sort of like cutting back and forth between Kratos and the very and the goddess Athena as she's either trying to like uh, get a, a sort of like coalition of other gods to fight back against Ares, and um, and there are plenty of other things that it adds too. You know, um, like the reason why he's in that one place is you know, hunting the hydras. Yeah, he's actually after like a uh, merchant, and for, and um, <clears throat> yeah, and um, it also does a sort of like a good job at you know giving Kratos some more uh, character. You know, um, like he doesn't really like how he thinks of himself not really as a hero, but as like a this sort of like he knows he's a horrible person. He knows that. And, uh, you know, he's got, like, he's gotten to this point where, like, uh, fighting is, like, really all he, all he has. And, um, yeah. Like, the, the one kind of complaint is that, um, that I have is more or less because of in the game, like, there's all sorts of blood and gore and stuff. And, like, there's really only so many ways you can describe somebody killing a different, you know different animal in some different manner or what have you and uh yeah but aside from that i actually found this book to be very entertaining and it's actually you know pretty good my final rating for this is a four out of five comfortable recommendation check it out if you ever find it and uh yeah and for me i i actually just purchased the sequel the novelized adaptation of god of war 2 see what they plan on, uh, you know, how they plan on adapting that, and, um, yeah, anyway, um, 
Um, until next time, I'm going to be talking about a nice good old sci-fi classic. Yep, the Mars Trilogy by Edgar Rice Burroughs. Until then, see you later. Keep yourself awesome by going out and, you know, supporting your local library with your patronage money, donations, checking stuff out, and so on and so forth. And have a nice day.